Well, good morning, Christ community. Jared here. I just wanted to send you a video on behalf of the elders, um, not only seeking to encourage your souls, but also to update you on uh, where we're going as a church, how we're moving forward in light of the global crisis. And uh, here's how this is going to work. I'll make the, the video as, as short as possible. And uh, in addition, accompanied with this video is going to be a letter, a four-page letter that will be nearly exhaustive, uh, unfolding everything in detail as far as how we're going to operate for the next several weeks, maybe even a couple months as a church. So, so of course, watch the video, but, but uh, download the letter and, and read over that because that's going to have, again, in detail, all of the things uh, and updates that we're, we're going as a church. All of your questions should be answered there um, as far as some ministry ideas and opportunities uh, to take advantage of. But, but let me do this. L let me give you just a brief update as far as uh, where we're going as a church. Uh, the first thing I want you to know is, is that it's business as usual for Christ community. We're still on our mission to prize and portray and proclaim the supremacy of Christ in all things for the joy of all peoples. That, that doesn't change. And the reason why that doesn't change is because uh, Jesus Christ has all authority in heaven and on earth. He's far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. I was just reading again in Daniel chapter 4 when Nebuchadnezzar declares that, that uh, God's dominion is an eternal dominion and his kingdom is with generation after generation and all the ones who dwell on the earth are considered like nothing in comparison to him, but he does his will on earth and in heaven and no one can stay his hand or say to him, what have you done? That's from Daniel 4 verse 35, 34 and 35. And uh, that's, that's what we're, we're hoping and that's what we're trusting. And that's the foundation of our very lives, that, that Jesus Christ has all authority and he governs everything that comes to pass. And all the earth-shaking forces released on the earth are released by Jesus Christ. And he is in the control room of the universe and he upholds the universe by the word of his power. And so, so what that tells us is that it's business as usual and we're going to continue our mission as a church, although that will look different in the days and, and, and weeks, maybe even months ahead. But here's, here's uh, sort of the plan of, of where we're going. I'll, I'll do my best to summarize. And again, the accompanied letter uh, will explain in detail where we're going. Uh, the first thing that I want to encourage you with is just to keep meditating on the scriptures. Uh, do what Psalm uh, 1 verse 2 describes, that, we, that you would meditate on the law of God day and night. That way you'll be like a tree firmly planted by streams of water. You know, we, we are constantly being bombarded by media coverage and, and so much of it is so helpful, but oftentimes it's fear laden and and we need to be cautious and, and careful and wise and, and yet we need to uh, trust in God. And so the best way to trust is to is to go to his word and be satisfied in him through his word and be richly indwelt by the word of Christ. So that's my encouragement to you. In fact, if you're looking for something to study at this time, the Paul's letter to Colossians would uh, be a perfect place to uh, occupy and immerse your thoughts at this time. As far as Sunday mornings, our Sunday morning services, we're going to do all of those either recorded or live streamed. So uh, every week you're going to get a link to click on that will take you directly to uh, the service. Um, and so again, we'll be operating same time. Well, our, our services will begin at 1030 and it'll either be live streamed or it'll be pre-recorded. But either way, uh, we are gonna, we're going to worship together, quarantined in our respective homes, and it's going to be a sweet time together. Um, you also get a, a plan for the morning, all the song lyrics, all the confession stuff, everything on our liturgy will be sent to you via email, and that way you can follow along with the service. With regard to equipping classes, um, I'm still going to teach the Trinity class at, at 9 a.m. You're going to receive a link. You can, you can tune in at 9 a.m. if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, uh, join me for the uh, Trinity equipping class. Uh, also, we're going to uh, either live stream or pre-record kids catechism and so we're still going to do that um, and, and so uh, there will be links for all of these things sent to you that you can click and follow and watch and participate in. Uh, also children's ministry re resources, parents, um, you've all been given the Generations of Grace curriculum, the devotional, 
And so since we're unable to meet in person, I encourage you to continue to go through that with your kids. I think uh, uh, Allison would, would also um, uh, be encouraged just to, just to keep, um, would encourage you to keep uh, pursuing that with your kids. Uh, last week we studied lesson nine. And so we, let's uh, continue to forge ahead with that. With regard to small groups, as you know, the CDC has recommended that groups of 10 or less are, are, is still safe to meet. But at this time, we are uh, uh, going to postpone um, small groups and uh, as well as family meals, man fest, dinner for eight. We're just gonna we're just gonna take a few weeks at, at least to to pause on those and and see if the uh, if the, the spread of the virus will subside just a little bit. So so all small groups, all family meals, all um, uh, man fest, all those things will be postponed to a later time. Uh, I'll also be sending you a link to various ways that you can stay connected together individually. Marco Polo, an, an app on the phone, is a great way to stay connected. Sort of a video walkie-talkie with one another. Um, there's also video chat rooms, different things like that, that we can uh, fellowship together. So I'll, I'll give you some ideas on those later. Uh, one other thing I want, want you to know is, um, or a couple things, is the uh, Elder Care Fund. So this is going to affect, this whole thing is going to affect many people uh, financially, economically, even within our own congregation. And so if you have extra at this time of, of the month um, or extra during this, this season, uh, and, and if you want to give to the Elder Care Fund, this will be discretionary funds used to give to needy people in our congregation affected financially by this crisis. And so please, um, you know, now is the time um, uh, not for isolation, but for generosity. Isolation too, of course, being wise, but, but also to, to be generous. And so if you have extra, please uh, um, uh, feel free to give to the Elder Care Fund. And um, also, I'll be in touch with you uh, regarding uh, opportunities to serve the, the saints in our congregation. There's, there's going to be, there's several people who are um, uh, shut in and, and not able to leave their homes. And so we want to develop a, a, a delivery system, as it were, where we're bringing food and various supplies, different toiletries or wh whatever it is that people in our congregation who can't leave, um, uh, that we can provide those for them. So there's so much more that, that I have to, to say and that I want to share with you. But again, all of that will be outlined in the letter. Again, uh, the elders uh, want to care for you. And so please do not hesitate to, uh, to email or call us. All that information, all the contact information will be in the email uh, sent to you, um, as, as well as uh, ways to pray. And all the church information is on that letter as well. Okay, so... Uh, these are strange times, but but they are good times. These are exciting times. Christ is on the move in Christ's community and in the world, advancing his global plan. It's business as usual. It'll look a little different maybe for a while, but that's okay. We're trusting in the supremacy of Christ, the sovereignty of Christ, who governs everything that comes to pass. And I'm looking forward to how Christ will use uh, even this strange season in our life, being quarantined in our homes, uh, odd though that feels, um, uh, always and only for his own glory. So again, we are praying for you. We love you. We care for you and look forward to uh, seeing you as soon as possible. Again, look for the links for Sunday morning as we join in worship together. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.